Hi, I'm Mika. I'm a copywriter at Havas, and this is my work from home diary. And I am going to do it in one of those I draw my lifestyles. So I hope you have fun watching it. So my day usually starts somewhere between eight and nine a.m. And the first thing that I do after getting out of bed is draw the curtains. And that's a very very important moment in my day like if there's sunlight outside I automatically feel so much better I cannot do rainy days for too long So it deserves a separate page to itself and then I just I drink some coffee I read for a while I mean I've drawn a book but I I've, I've switched to a Kindle now most of the time So since I'm back at home with my mom and my grandma and I'm living with the two of them together like all three of us are living with each other after years this is also the part of my day where I argue with both of them about not arguing with each other that is something I could not draw so fun fact after that I'll work out for a little bit and I'll do cardio I'll do a couple of pilates exercises maybe pilates routines maybe which are really nice at this point Then I'll take a quick shower. I'll fix myself breakfast, which is usually some form of an egg because I really like eggs. But it's also one of the nicest parts of my day. I like cooking for myself. Then I'll sit down to work. There's deadlines to meet. It's within the first half most of the time. And when I get time off, I'll watch a K drama. Maybe I'm watching a lot of them right now. I listen to some music. I've been trying to study Korean. So this is Annyeong Haseo, which is basically hello. I hope I've gotten the spelling right. I drew a boombox, not a boombox, a radio to show the music part because I really miss old fashioned, good old fashioned radios. Like I still have one of them at home, cassette players. I think I'm in cassette players, but they don't work. But I guess all of our work they looks more or less the same right now. So I think it's important to like for me at least if I can do other things even in the middle of it 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 at least gives me a little bit of a break. So there's that. If I can and if I don't have meetings in the evening I'll usually I try to take a walk or I try, one of my closest friends lives really close to me so we go downstairs or we hang out at this empty place that he has. and that's also really nice it helps me get out of the house this is supposed to be a balcony and those are supposed to be clouds even though it doesn't look like that but i tried on days that i get some time and i feel motiv- motivated enough to do so or on days that i don't like what's for dinner because i'm a little tired of rotis after a point i'll fix dinner for my grandma mom and me i've drawn a bowl of ramen because that's my favorite kind of co- comfort food and i've learned to use chopsticks over this lockdown period so there's that too so the next part and the last part of the video is about what being in this lockdown has taught me and it's not just one thing it's a lot of things so we'll just go ahead to that then with after this lockdown period is over i will still make 10 year plans but i have learned to live life more in the moment or to appreciate that so i think when it comes to traveling i'm going to make next weekend or next to next weekend plans instead of waiting for 5 months from now or 6 months from now because you really don't know how things will turn out i've learned to appreciate the smaller things because there are no big things to look forward to a lot of the time i think i realized the importance of being kinder to each other even like when it comes to living with your family again it's important to be patient and also the importance of the people around you right so this is supposed to be a video call and a postcard even though i don't really do postcards any longer but yeah like i think this lockdown has also taught me to really appreciate the people i care about and who care about me and that is what a typical work day in my life looks like and whoever is watching this wherever you're watching this from i hope that you're doing well and that you're getting through this pandemic the best you can and hopefully we'll come out of this some point in time like let's hold on to a reasonable amount of optimism goodbye